time they spied on my campaign. They spied on my what? campaign. There's no e real evidence of that. Of course there is. No. It's all over the place. Leslie, Sir. they spied on my campaign and they can got caught. Donald Trump and William Barr promised that Durham would expose huge corruption, but he hasn't done that. He's apparently an ongoing, concerted Republican and pro-Trump project to try to turn the investigation of the Russia scandal into some kind of scandal itself. Well, the media losing it during the peak of the collusion narrative surrounding former President Trump and Russia. And now unearthed tweets from 2016 show then presidential candidate Hillary Clinton promoting now debunked claims of trust Trump's Russian ties as her campaign is accused of paying to infiltrate the Trump White House and Trump Tower. Fox News contributor Joe Concha joins us live. Joe, the media went all in on the Trump-Russia collusion narrative. Will they cover this latest development? Wow, Carly, great question. Right before I came on, literally during the commercial break, I looked at CNN.com. I looked at the New York Times homepage, the Washington Post homepage. You can't find one story on this explosive development as far as the Durham report, or at least uh, what, what we're going to see in the Durham report, you know, in, in writing, uh, a guy who has now been investigating this for some time now, and you want to go attack uh, Mr. Durham, go, go right ahead as far as his credibility. Uh, that, that's not a place you really want to be. I can't find one story about this as far as the Clinton campaign actually now hiring people to access servers uh, of, of Donald Trump, of his campaign, uh, while he's in the White House. Uh, th this is worse than Watergate. I hate to quote Carl Bernstein, who has said that about a billion times on CNN Air, but it's true. And the fact that there is a media blackout on this tells you exactly where our media is at this point, where you say they went all in on Russia collusion and Trump, Carly, we're talking not for a couple of weeks, we're talking for three years of a presidency, and now that it looks like this could be turned on its head completely, no one wants to touch this story because they know that they are all culpable in pushing this narrative uh, that, that basically uh, drowned the, the country for, for, for three years and, and a presidency, quite frankly, for three years. Uh, and it's just incredible. Not incredible. It's not surprising. But it, the fact that no one's even touching this story yeah. at these major news organizations tells you everything where, where we are right now as far as trust in our media, which is, I, I don't use hyperbole very often, really is corrupt at this point. I mean,